Riot on three! One, two, three, Riot! The sport of cross country requires perseverance and motivation. For Pella Christian, Ryan Nadelborg is the motivation. He helped lead his team back to the state tournament last season and planned on running alongside them this year. I couldn't imagine doing this sport. <laughs> the coach says what Ryan is telling the team now is way more important. Mm -hmm. John Sears has that story. All right, just an easy run today. Pella Christian Cross Country is turning into a solid 2A program. I love doing it. I love cross country. The Eagles made state last year for the first time in 14 years. Pella Christian with 59 points. They were very motivated coming into the season. And a returning roster this season with the talent to make it back. I think we're ready to get going, get ready for the postseason, and really attack at state. But the Eagles are missing someone from their lineup. He brought a lot of lightheartedness to the team. Not being able to see him every day is a lot different and yeah, not what I was used to. He was a big part of the team, uh, definitely a leader for people, one of the top runners. There's something a little bit bigger going on yeah. this season and it's, it's obvious. 16-year-old Ryan Nadelborg was looking forward to his junior year, running varsity again for the Eagles. It was his passion, you know, he just, he loved being with them, the community of it, um, just with his friends. But just two days before practice started, July 30th, tragedy struck while in Wisconsin with friends. And I ran to dive into the water and just hit my head on the sand. Just wasn't as deep as I thought. And then I remember just instantly my, the top of my head hurt, but then I, I really couldn't feel anything else. He had jumped in the water and we saw him laying down. Sometimes I just kind of wish that was all a dream. I couldn't even move my arms. I couldn't move anything. There was nothing I could do to swim. We turned him over and he was like gasping for air. So we knew something was wrong. And there was a moment there was like hopeless. I thought, I thought it was over. I didn't think anyone was coming because I was under for almost two minutes. Ryan was rushed to the hospital. Kind of shocking, didn't feel real. Hard to believe, like what you're seeing. Parents Tim and Sonia, four hours away when they got the call. It was really sickening. I mean, you just feel like throwing up and like you just can't get enough air and you just you just don't know what to do with yourself basically. And, and you're so far away too. I didn't know what had happened. I just knew I couldn't feel anything. And I, I was just freaking out a little bit. Ryan underwent surgery immediately. The diagnosis, a fracture of the C5 vertebrae. Ryan was paralyzed. Definitely, I have those thoughts of why me. I saw the message come across and it just, my heart sunk immediately when I read it. Kind of hard to grasp that uh, someone so athletic and just gets hurt and just like that, he's done. You never really imagine that anything like that could happen, especially to someone who seemed to uh, you know, bring so much joy to everyone. It just felt kind of unreal, to be honest, and sometimes still does, you know, um, because yeah, that's his life, is his activity. But then it's like, oh, wait, I'm thankful he's alive. He is who he is. He has his mind, he has his personality. So it's like, oh, wait a second, be thankful. I've done a lot of things in my life, but Diving into this shallow water is what hurt me. And, you know, you just wish you could take that back, but you got to learn to just be happy with what you got, I guess. Being happy in the face of adversity can be a challenge. In fact, it would be easy to live in the negative, almost understandable, but that's not Ryan. Despite all the obstacles that stand in front of him, his positive attitude resonates with everyone. It would be really hard um, Harder, I should say, if Ryan didn't have the positive attitude that he does. Um, when Ryan has hard days, it's harder for us. So I think we're really helped by him and his good attitude. I feel like I'm just always happy now. Like I said, right, I see these other kids with the same injury, living good lives. There's still so many fun things I can do. And you can bet Ryan is still very much involved with the cross country team sending videos back to his teammates. Coach, tell him to do a 30 second plank and then make him go for five minutes. <laughs> keep working at it, just keep thinking about the next step and keep pushing hard. Good luck, everybody. I told him first time I saw him, I said, there's your words, 
your words are going to matter to this team and what you choose to say is is uh, going to be very impactful even bigger than your running and we don't want to forget about him we want to keep him part of the team some of my races i just kind of think of him and I think that's a, I kind of feel that motivate me and, and kind of run faster. Like I miss him so much not being able to be with him every day like I was. Ryan has spent the last few months at Craig Hospital in Colorado, rehabbing, working on occupational therapy, adjusting to the new normal. I don't have full movement or feeling in my arm. I have no movement in my fingers, but I can bend my wrist like that. So there's still there's ways to grab things. We're hoping he gets more mobility back um, and more sensation back and feeling in the different parts of his body. And it's, he's able, that's a possibility. We're hopeful that something else is going to come back, but um, even if it doesn't, we know it's going to be okay. Back in Pella, the Eagles are running for Ryan. They're locked in, not only locked in, but they are, uh, they're reaching for something bigger. Ryan on three! You take it for granted that you can just run, walk, the mobility, and that to, for that to be taken away from someone is crazy, and you really think about it a lot more. Ryan Nadelborg has a long journey ahead of him, and while he'll be cheering on his teammates from afar, his future plans haven't changed. I still want to graduate with my class on time for high school and then go to college and get a good job. As I said, I was interested in engineering. And that makes Tim and Sonia incredibly proud. What he's doing just gives me so much hope for his future and uh, the good life that he's going to be able to do however it looks. Um, yeah, I'm immensely proud of him. I tell him that too. I'm like, I can't imagine going through what you're going through. Um, I wish I could trade spots with him. I'm so proud of him. I think he's amazing. John Sears. Run for Ryan on three! One, two, three! Run for Ryan! WHO 13 Sports. And we thank John for that story. The Eagles host the state cross-country qualifying to meet. It's tomorrow at Pella Christian.